Okay, just a quick example of how to use a sharpshooter. Okay, some of you have actually purchased them today here at the seminar, that's good. Um, you just basically wear it like this. Now sometimes people say, well, you know, I gotta, by the time I get that out of my pocket, I gotta, don't put it in your pocket. Wear it. There's no problem with walking with your keys outside. I'm not walking with a can of mace, I'm not walking with a switch blade or a, or a bayonet or something. I'm walking with my keys. There's no, no, it doesn't look intimidating. I don't look paranoid and scared of the world walking around with my keys. I'm walking around with a knife, I'm walking around with pepper spray, a taser, a stun gun in my hand. You know, it's kind of ridiculous. No one's going to walk like this. But your keys, people walk with. If you wear it and walk with it, if the time happens someone jumps you, you don't have to pull it out of anything. You're right there, okay? Now, I shot it out without pulling back the cord lock. That can be done. You can simply just pull it out like this, put it behind. Hey, don't come any closer. You can swing from side to side like this. You can even come this way. You can go up and down. You can step back, just put it on your shoulder. Hey, don't come any closer to me. And right from here, if they continue to attack, you can keep them at bay, not even him. Just say, you know what? Go ahead, get out of here. You know? And they rush at you, whack! Hit them with the keys. If they close the distance, you've still got the butt end to hit them with. One thing is, that's a gun. A lot of people say, well, what about the fingering? I could just grab it and pull your finger. No. Pull it. There's no pressure on my finger, and I'm going to go with it. I'm not going to let him pull me. I'm going to keep going forward. Why well, pull back? Now he can pull me. And when he's pulling it, he's got his hands occupied. I can hit him. Both his hands are down here. How is he going to block me? If I go forward, okay, I can just thrust him around him. Go, forward. but pulling back. He's going to resist, and it's going to be a fight. Why does it put pressure on my fingering? Grab it. Because the ring is independent of the shaft. So I'm gripping it here. The pressure is actually riding through the ring. It's not like this. If I let go like this, now he's pulling my finger. As long as you're gripping it, he's not pulling the finger. A lot of thought went into that. A gun has a finger ring. You put your finger in that ring to get to the trigger. Most of them do. Does it mean a gun is a useless device for self-defense? No. Well, they could get their finger trapped in that ring. We could, we have, as martial artists, we all know techniques to use that ring to trap the finger and stuff. Sure. Doesn't mean that gun can't kill you. It's a dangerous weapon. It's a dangerous device. This has a ring for a similar purpose. Okay. One thing is, it's very hard for me to drop. When this shoots out, it comes at incredible speeds. It hits the end. But it's not going to go and fly out of your hand because the ring you still retain it. And what good is a, a pepper spray or something? When you go to pull it, ah, it hits the ground. It's no good. And I, I don't have to worry about you know swinging it back and forth and going because it's not going to fall out of my hand. I'm hot and sweaty right now from working out. This is slippery and I'm not dropping it. I can rub soap all over my hand. I'm still not dropping this. It's not coming out. Um, he grabs me. A lot of techniques you can do with the cord end, okay? You can yank them down, okay, this one. All right, you can uh, stand up. You can strike them with the cord. So the cord can be used to strike, right, grab me? Okay, I can, now uh, watch, I'm under the arm, I can strike this way, to the neck with the cord. I can use the cord, grab on. I can use the cord just to pull him in, then strike up, okay? I can use the cord to rub muscles. Just rolling the muscle with the cord. Sorry, you okay? Yeah, it sounds like getting up again. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of things you can do with it, with the cord. The butt ends use the pressure points, just like this, straight to different points. It's going to hit with wall pounds with square inch of pressure. Okay. Back on the hand point, you can use this here. He grabs behind two hands around me. I can use this here. When, you're, when someone's behind and they let go, sorry, 
you want to step out and over, just like I showed you if someone's trying to suck you, and then strike. If you're not in range here, you just hold on what you simply snap it out there. You get the range more. It appears to be a short range device. If you step back, you're doing like this. Got the distance to hit them from there. If you say oh, only have one or two keys, doesn't matter. One key coming at you at 65 miles an hour will go right through you. It will cut into you. Okay? Doesn't matter, it's one key. You get a key flying around in a hurricane or a tornado, hit you 75 miles an hour, it'll probably kill you. It'll go right in you. It's like a piece of shrapnel in an explosion. A little piece of metal can kill you, just like a bullet can. It's the speed that it's traveling at. One key, I think, do some major damage with one key. The more, though, battery ice, just five or six on it. Uh, the problem I find with the regular Cougaton is it's only good for in close. And uh, he's got a knife or a stick, some weapon. I can keep him. Hey, 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 don't come any closer. I can keep him back there. I don't have to rush in. And uh, you're with this little stick device and you don't have this cord, you just have a Cougaton, you better be damn good at in close fighting. This guy's got a knife or something. Because the odds of him getting you are a lot better than the odds of him getting you with this. And being a knife fighting instructor, I prefer to have this. Because it's faster and has the range to cord. Gives you incredible speed. You try swinging it without the cord, you're about half as fast as you are when you have that, that range of cord. Um, a Cuba time, you get five people around you. <laughs> this, you Keeping that bay going from one to the other, you know? You can come around to keep them all sitting back. You, know? you can't do that with the food. A lot of things this can go. Close. 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 And cut.